Well, you know, DNA is the thing that makes us uniquely ourselves, right? We get 50% of our DNA from mum and 50% from dad. And they get 50% from their parents and so forth and so forth. And it goes back a long way. And those little bits of our ancestors trickle down through our parents to us. So a DNA test, a genetic DNA test, right, that looks at genealogy elements such as ethnicity can tell you where your ancestors have come from. And the process that we use for doing that is that we go to a particular ethnical region, right? So we don't talk about countries. Countries are a human construct. Biologically, we talk about, talk about ethnicity. And so we look at somewhere like Scandinavia and we take some people who we know are, are Scandinavian, we're very confident of that, and we look for the bits that make them Scandinavian. And then we take somebody like me, I take the test, and if I have 20% of the bits that are Scandinavian, then I'm 20% Scandinavian. And it gives me this estimate of, okay, maybe I had Viking ancestors. When we talk about doing DNA, we talk about estimates. We talk about ethnicity estimates. Now they're very, very good estimates, but this is a scientific process. And because it is, we never deal in an absolute, right? We might be 99.999% sure that you're Scandinavian, but never 100% because science is about the pursuit of the absolute. We focus on sort of 500 to 2000 years ago. So, you know, that's like more than 10 generations ago. That's a long way back. The reason we do that is because it, it can take us back beyond what is recorded history for most of us. So it can give us an insight into who we are, another version of ourselves, another story of self-discovery. We've tested more than one and a half million people from all around the world. And the average person will have somewhere between four to six ethnic groupings. Some people, many, many more. Some people, just one, right? Because, you know, we're humans and we're so diverse. But generally, people have four to six, but most people, about 80% of people, will get a result that they do not expect. There will be something lurking in their genetic past that will surprise and hopefully delight them.